Oh, we're recording. Uh, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are hopping right back into our Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke Part 5. Um, last time on this uh, series, we did go ahead and have some encounters. The last episode was kind of short, so I apologize. Um, this one will be a little bit longer. We'll try to keep it around the 35-40 minute episode mark. Uh, but anyway, before we jump in, I do want to say, uh, if you have not seen the last few episodes, go back and check them out right before we can jump into this episode. Get caught up, know what's going on, that way you can continue to enjoy this series, because uh, this is going to be a lot of fun today. we got a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, also, as always, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, uh, show me some love, hit that notification bell on the right next to the subscri subscribe button, that way you get notifications of when I'm uploading on YouTube or uh, just any uploads in general um, but yeah so other than that we are gonna jump in um, oh actually one last thing before we jump in uh, I was trying to decide in the last episode uh, who to add to the team and so I made my decision on who I'm adding to the team and we did a little bit of grinding uh, off screen and I'll be honest with you I may have kind of over leveled our team a little bit so let's go ahead and take a look at the team and I will show you where we're at so as you can see on the screen, we have Naruto the Bayleaf with Tackle, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, and Reflect. Uh, level 19, I know it's a little high, we haven't even beat the second gym yet, but I kinda... I. What happened was Naruto and Sabrina were already at 18, and then we did the grinding for the other Pokemon, and they happened to level up to 19, and so I was like, alright, well everyone else will get to 18 or 19. So. Um, with that being said, uh, we'll go to the next Pokemon, which is Sabrina the Umbreon, a level 18, uh, almost 19, with Tackle, Tail Whip, Pursuit, and Sand Attack. We then also have on the team, of course, Lainey the Swellow, our Pokemon that we caught two episodes ago, with Peck, Growl, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack, also level 18. We then have Kuranai, the Metacham, a level 18, that knows Confusion, Meditate, Hidden Power, which it learned in the off-screen grinding, and Detect. And last but not least, we do have Carol the Horsey, level 18, that knows Bubble, Smokescreen, and Leer. Um, and then, of course, we got Sonic on here, just so that he can cut things. Um, so, like I said, we did kind of over-level a little bit, um, but, I mean, hey, after what happened in Soul Silver, I'm honestly gonna... Uh, be okay with over leveling our Pokemon a little bit just in case we run into some legendary Pokemon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with Lainey uh, heading into this gym and actually you know what now that I think about it I didn't even check our items so now if I'm correct we can move these around right okay yeah so let's move this up here uh, whoops let's move these things around a little bit uh, okay, so we want to keep the super potions up top, and then antidote, paralyze heal, uh, max potion can go there. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to organize this so it's a little bit better. Uh, we don't need Pokeballs right now, obviously. Um, we got a ton of encounters in the last episode. Um, okay, so let's go to the... M oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Ah, uh, there's no mark here. Okay. So I apologize, probably should have done this before we started the episode, but uh, we're going to talk to Mr. Briny. We are going to go back to uh, Petalburg. We're going to go get some items um, because we do want to be prepared for this gym. Um, so I apologize, I really should have done this before we started the episode, but that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll go to the Mart and you get to see this fun boat ride to start the episode, so that's always fun. All right. Now that we're done dancing, let's go ahead and I think we're just going to go this way, the same way we went in the last episode to go get Pokeballs. Um, we're just going to go grab some potions. I'm not worried. Ooh, a Hariyama. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Um, so one thing I do want to point out, when uh, we were grinding, uh, we grinded in the cave where we caught the... Oh, man. Uh, I think we caught... No. Who did we catch? I think it was... I don't remember. The cave back on the island we were just on, we ran into so many crazy good Pokemon. Like, we ran into Electabuzz, Articuno, Moltres. Like, it was crazy. And I think we ended up getting, like, what was it? It wasn't Sandslash. It was, uh, I can't even remember. I don't know. Maybe it was the Shift Tree or something. But, yeah, either way, we missed out on some good Pokemon, unfortunately. But, 
Uh, so let's see if we can sell something. Um, yikes. Uh, I think upgrade is just for, uh, what's it called? Um, isn't upgrade just for, uh, isn't it just for Porygon? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. We'll sell that. Uh, we'll keep White Flute, Soft Sand. No. Oh, I thought, I was thinking, when I, I, when I first got that Soft Sand, I was thinking of some other item that you can sell for a lot of money. Um, so we've really, we really don't have a ton of money here, so... I mean, I guess we'll buy five potions? Man, we really could do with getting some more money. Okay. Well, let's head back to the island and let's go uh, battle our second gym leader. Let's get that badge number two. Oh, come on. Wild encounters for days. Oh, my goodness. Registeel. All right, cool. Yeah, like I said, I apologize if you feel like my levels have... Uh, if I'm over-leveled slightly, but I just wanted to be prepared, so... Um, Oh boy, I know exactly what you want to say. You are to deliver a ladder to Dooford and a package to Slateport. What do you need me to do is no problem at all. I'm the man for the job. First, we'll set sail for Dooford. Dooford, here we come. Anchors, are, anchors away. Pico is setting sail, my darling. <laughs> Gotta love Mr. Briny and Pico. Cool, so we're heading back. So we are definitely taking on this gym today. Oh, I'm excited. Yes, I cannot wait. Oh, man, this is going to be great. The boat music. Love it. Thank you, Mr. Briny. Ahoy, we've hit land in Dooford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now, Steven? Yeah, so... Uh, and let's go ahead and make sure we healed first. So let's go ahead and heal up. I think we did, but just to be care uh, just to be cautious. So uh, we have to take on the second gym, and then we have to go back through the cave where I fought Electabuzz, Moltres, Articunos, things like that. Um, Nido Kings too, which is kind of cool. And uh, we do that after we beat the second gym leader to go deliver the letter to Steven. So yeah, let's hop on in. Let's do this. I'm excited. Oh, that's right. It's this pitch black cave. I forgot. Hey, how's it going, champion? Bound Eagle. Dooford's gym leader, Brawly, commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against him with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal Pokemon, so be careful. What's worse, the gym is as dark as the ocean floor, but it will get brighter after defeating the trainers in your way. Hey, okay, go for it. All right, cool. So that guy's a little excited. So, um... Man, I do not remember where to go with this. All right, so... Oh, all right, we got a trainer. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Dun -dun -dun. Look at that. High jump kick. Lady Robin would like to battle. Send out Gliger. Okay, level 15. I'm glad we level up to 18 now that I see that. That's huge. Level 15 in the first... So I will say this, I did do an, a percentage multiplier, which means I increased the uh, percent by like 3 or 5% of the levels. I think it's applying to the gyms, and I think it's applying to the gym trainers as well. So that's kind of cool. Makes it a little bit more challenging. Do not poison me. I feel like in every Pokemon series I do, I say that. I go, don't paralyze me, don't poison me, and it happens immediately. Okay. Okay. Well, Laney took out Gliger. Well, Gliger is out of here. Laney gets 346 experience, and Lady Robin was defeated. Wah! I lost! Now, how many antidotes do we have? Um, we have three. I'm alright with using one of them, that's fine. Um, why don't we switch this up then? Why don't we now go with... Uh, we'll go with Kur and I. Is there a gym? Oh, no. Oh, okay. It was just three lanes there. So, dead end. Um, okay. Might is right. Come on. Whoa. He's getting his, like, really high. Engineer Kim sent out Metacham. Wow. What? Wow, the irony. Um, so, I'm not going to stay in here. We're going to go out to Laney. Because Laney will go ahead and take out this Metacham with a wing attack. Ooh, it's going to use Bide. Interesting. So I'm actually going to use Growl. Because I do not want to set myself up for failure. 
So let's lower his attack. He's going to store energy and attack us and do zero damage because we're not going to hit him at all. Unleashed energy of nothing. No, 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 not quick attack. Oh, I went too fast. Wing attack, just do it. We growled him twice, so we should be good. And it's a one-hit KO. I should have been. I should have just done that from the first place, but that's all right. Curry and I gets 241, uh, 244 experience. So does Laney. Very nice. Engineer Kim defeated. Not enough power. Man, you are kicking really high. My goodness, my dude. Wow. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and switch this out. I'm trying to get everybody some uh, some time on the screen here. Let's go ahead and use Sabrina. Oh, wait a minute. I want to battle all the trainers. I think to the right was the uh, the weight of the gym leader, but I want to battle this trainer. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. <laughs> yeah, right. In your dreams. You wish. Look at that flying kick. Oh, my goodness. Lady Jacqueline would like to battle. Send out Moltres. Wow. So we're actually going to switch out here. We're going to bring Carol in. Carol gets her first on-screen action. Wing attack. Ah, uh, that'll do some... Decent damage. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Carol learned literally one move the entire grinding, and it was Leer. And I was like, oh, good. That's great. I could have done with, like, Water Gun or something, but... Also, the way I set up the randomizer, we should be able to evolve Carol not only into a Seedra, but into a Kingdra, if I did everything right. So, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty fun if, if we get to keep Carol on the team. It depends on, obviously, what happens in the next however many episodes, but... And Moltres is defeated. Level 12 Moltres. Very nice. So 279 experience for Sabrina gets Sabrina to level 19. Carol gets 279, and they're going to send out a victory bell. Nice. All right, so uh, let's go into Kuranai. Yeah, why not? Send out victory bell. All right, let's use Confusion. I haven't used Hidden Power yet, so I don't know what it's, uh, uh, what type it is, but that's what we'll find out. Kuranai, 490 experience, defeated Victory Bell, and Barboach is coming out. So we're going to switch into Naruto. We haven't actually used Naruto in a while between grinding and uh, actual recording itself. So yeah, Barboach is coming out. We're going to use Razor Leaf, and it's actually going to hit. Good job, Naruto. Finally learning how to be accurate. One hit KO, an unnecessary crit, but we will take it. Not complaining at all. Uh, Barboach is defeated. Naruto gains 235 experience, and we defeat Lady Jacqueline. But how? How could I lose so easily? Ugh. Ugh. And this should be the gym leader. And it is. All right, so uh, let's go back and heal. I don't think it. I don't think we need to, but mm, just to be safe, I'd rather do that. So let's go heal, and then we're going to go ahead and take on the gym leader. Um, so, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. All right, here we go. All right, the light is still bright around me, so that means we don't have to walk through this gym in the dark. All right, so first thing I want to do is let's go with, hmm, who do we want to start with? We've given everybody a little bit of face time here. I'm going to say Laney again. We're going to say Laney, and we're going to go ahead and save it right here as we are about to face our second gym leader. I'm so pumped. Oh, man, this is going to be good. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm probably different gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves, brah, of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to, like, challenge me, brah? <laughs> Let me see what you're made of. <laughs> oh, that was great. All right, so we're just facing Chef Bob, or Chief Bob, sorry. Send out Dunsparce, level 18. I am so glad we, over we grinded way more than we needed to. I'm going to use a wing attack. It's probably not going to do a whole lot now that I think about it, but that's all right. Oh, and it paralyzed uh, Laney. Okay. Because that's what you want to see. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to go... Yeah, let's go into Carol. Let's bring Carol out. 
Defense curl. Honestly, at first I wasn't thrilled about using a, a, a horsey, but now I'm pretty excited. I haven't used a I haven't used a Cedra or a Oh my gosh, that was a critical hit and he's going to paralyze us. Okay. All right. That's enough. I was hoping that we could knock it out with Carol and get some good experience. I guess we still could. It's not really doing a whole lot of damage to us, so I wouldn't mind getting some experience for Carol. Defense Rose. Yeah, this is it's probably going to be an annoying battle. I need to get rid of Dunsparce quickly uh, before it becomes too annoying. Oh, he failed with the Yawn. I wonder why. Couldn't be that we're already paralyzed and have a status ailment on us. Alright, so it's not taking too long. I should be able to beat it with like three or four more bubbles. So let's hope we can maybe get a crit on one of them. I don't know. Come on. Come on, Carol. You got this. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, we're not playing games. No, no, no. We're done. All right. That's that's enough. Carol, I appreciate your effort, but we're not hanging around for the gym leader to stall us with his defense curling Dunsparce. All right. Let's go into... Uh, we're going to go into Naruto here. Naruto, I'm done playing games. Oh, come on. And now he's putting us to sleep. This guy, he's, he's something. Oh, Naruto, come on. Now you're going to go to sleep. All right. Wait. Oh, no, that's... Uh... Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought White Flu did something else. Never mind. Um... All right, then we'll just... We'll just do this. It's fine. We'll wait for us to w uh, Naruto to wake up out of his sleep. He's going to use Defense Curl. It is what it is. I was trying to use different Pokemon to get some good experience, but that's fine. We'll wait for Naruto to, Naruto to wake up. Level 18, man, I'm so glad we grinded. That would have been, not that this would have been a tough battle um, anyway, but still, it's. I'm glad that we actually grinded so we're on par. Oh my gosh, this Dunsparce is getting on my nerves. Getting on my nerves. Come on, hit, please, Naruto. Thank you. My goodness. I, oh my gosh, he's using Yawn again. This is ridiculous. And I don't have any awakenings. Um, do I just switch out and then come back in? Uh, no, I'll just I'll just use Razor Leaf. It, it's fine. It is what it is. We'll deal with it. Oh, he's gonna use Glare. Actually, that kind of works. So now we're not uh, going to sleep. Okay, cool. I take that over sleep. That's fine. He's gonna use Rage. All right. Thank you, Naruto. Hit this. Get a crit. Just knock this thing out. I'm done with this thing. Oh my gosh. He's got another Super Potion. Wow, he really wants to keep his Dunsparce alive. I've never seen someone fight so hard to keep a Dunsparce alive. That's ridiculous. Okay. Paralyzed. All right. Rage. Ooh, that's, that's a crit. Okay. Well, we got our uh, Ornberry. Yeah. Nice. Um. There you go. Come on. One more. That's it. Just knock it out. No. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. It's used Dawn. Or Yawn. Not Dawn. Yawn. <laughs> All right. So that should take out the Dunsparce. Thank you, Naruto. 96 experience for Laney. 96 for Naruto. 96 for Carol. About to send out Corsola. All right, cool. We'll stay in. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. So let's use a potion, and then we'll use a Paralyze Heal. Ooh, Bubble. Uh-oh, that's kind of scary. Ooh. Psych. All right. Let's go ahead and use a Paralyze Heal. Harden. I'm sorry, Corsola. We're going to have to take you out. And when I say I'm sorry, I'm really not sorry. Super effective. Level 19, a critical hit. Super effective. Knocks out the level 19 Corsola. Naruto gains 459 experience to get to level 20. There we go. Nice job. We beat Chief Bob. Whoa. Whoa. You made a much bigger splash than I expected, brah. <laughs> 
You swamped me. Okay, you've got me. Take this gem badge. And 1900 monies, brah. Eagle received the knuckle badge from Brawly. Yeah. We did it. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question, brah. And you'll be able to use the HM move flash outside of battle, brah. If you'd like, use this technical machine, too. Obtain TM08. Ooh, I hope that's good. Ooh. Contain the ta that TM08 contains, like, bulk up, brah. It's a move that raises both attack and defense stats, brah. Cool, so let's actually check out to see what it is. It's Baton Pass. Okay, so not the move I was expecting to get, but that's awesome. We got our second badge. That means we can now officially use Flash, go into the cave, go see Steven, and continue our adventure in Hoenn. Nice. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and heal up the team because everybody and their mom got paralyzed in that last battle. So thanks to that Dunsparce. Level 18 and 19. I wonder if I wonder if all the trainers will have their their Pokemon mimic the levels that I'm at. It's interesting to think about with that. Hmm. We hope to see you again. Cool, cool. All right, so now what we can do is we can head up here, go back into the cave where I did all my grinding. And then what I'm going to do is teach Flash to Sandslash, hopefully. Ooh, yikes. Um... Shoot. Okay. Well, never mind. So, Sandslash cannot learn Flash. Um, which, I mean, I guess that makes sense, obviously. I just thought it would work, but... Alright, so who can learn Flash? I'm wondering, do you think we even need Flash? Mm. I'm gonna say we try it on our own. The only reason I didn't go through there on my own last episode is because I wanted to beat the gym. I wanted to do it in the correct order. But honestly, like, I'm just gonna roll with it. Wild battle. What did we end up catching in here? Wasn't it like a... Was it a Lediba? Was that what we caught? We caught something like that. I forget what it was, but it was something that was not very exciting. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, I grinded in this room and then down here, just at the start. So, uh, this may be a little difficult, but I'm sure we can figure it out. I'm going to try to explore all the walls just to... Oh, there we go. To get an item. Mech mail. That's exciting. Wow. That's such a cool item. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. Kabutops. Yep. We ran into that a couple times. This is the floor. The floor we're on right now is the floor where um, uh, I ran into Moltres and Articuno several times. So, yeah. That would have been nice to have. But, oh well. Yep, cradley. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I honestly also don't have this cave memorized like some of the Gen 1 caves, so I don't know where I'm going. Yep, there's an Articuno. That would have been nice to have on the team. A really nice ice type. That would have been fun, but oh well. Uh, I think we're going the right way. I'm just gonna kind of bump into the walls until I find what I need. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna go as far as we can and figure it out. Oh, there we go. Stantler. Nice. I didn't know Stantlers had Intimidate. Oh, wow. Hmm. The more you know. Hmm. Seemed like there would have been an item over here. Interesting. Oh. Wait a minute. Hmm. That was weird. Wow. One of our old Pokemon from our other series. That's kind of cool. Another arm Armadillo. Or Armalt. 
Another armadillo. Armadillo. Uh, there's nothing over here, boss. Oh, there is. Wait. There's something. A noctowl. That's cool. Man, I am dying to find a shiny. That would be so cool. I was kind of hoping I'd find one in grinding, but... Oh, we got a mental herb. Nice. That's cool. That's something. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can make our way through the rest of this cave. I have no clue. I feel like we'll get there eventually. It shouldn't be that difficult. Alright, so there's a ladder here. Chinchow! I fought you a lot of times. I fought you many, many times. Okay, there's nothing to do down there. Wait. Oh, okay, I came through that ladder. So let's go through this one. Ah, here we go. So we're on this level now. Okay, so I think we found our way. Or I think. And we did. Nice, there's Steven. That device you have there, it's a Pokenav. When trainers that have Pokenavs battle, it keeps a record of how things went, I think. Oh, pardon me. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Eagle handed over the letter. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see. Um, I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Which it's not going to be Steel Wing, obviously. It's going to be something else. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. Now, I've got to hurry along. Cool. Thanks, Steven. I appreciate that, man. Let's see what the item is. It's Air Cutter. Oh, that's that two-turn move, isn't it? Oh, man. Yeah, it's a two-turn move, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm good. Wing attack stronger. Whoops. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, stop teaching. Okay. So, at this point, we're going to use one of our escape ropes to just get the heck out of here. And, uh, yeah, that way we don't have to walk through the cave again. Cool, so we spoke to Steven, um, we handed the letter, I think we just need to go back to uh, Rustboro and talk to the president, I think, right, or no? I don't know. Um, so I think we've done everything we need to here, so... Ahoy, for you, I'll go out to sea anytime! Now, my friend, where are we bound? So it looks like we can go to two places, so... I... Mm, I guess Slateport? Slateboard is it? Uh, anchors away! Pico, we're setting sail, my darling! <laughs> so now we're on this route. Okay, this is interesting. So, I'm not sure if this was the way we were supposed to go. Um... Because I think we were supposed to go to sl Yeah. You know what? Um, aren't you delivering the Devon goods, or are you meaning to set back sail to Duford? Well, wait. Who are we delivering the Devon goods to? Duford it is then. Yeah, let's go back to Duford. And then, yeah, I, I apologize everyone. Um, yeah, so I think I need to go back and deliver the Devon goods. Which, wait. Was I supposed to go to Slateport? I don't know. I'm going to go back to the, um, to Rustboro. And I think, I, I don't know why, but I've got this feeling I need to go back there and talk to, um, yeah, let's go back to Petalburg. I'm probably doing so much extra work, and I really don't need to. I probably should have just gone to Slateport, but whatever. Thanks, Mr. Briny. Using up all your gas, and I'm not paying you a penny. Route 104, and we're back. Alright, so what we're going to do, just to make sure we don't miss anything, we're going to head back through here. Oh my goodness. Bulbasaur! Wow. Ah, I love a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is so cool. Especially that sprite. 
Alright, let's try to make our way through here with minimal battles as we can help it, I guess. Oh, you know what? Yeah, what's over here? Let's cut this. We've got Sonic with us, so let's check it out. Ah. I was trying to avoid... Ugh, Delcaddy. I'm just not a fan of Delcaddy. I'm sorry, I just... Mm, mm -mm. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I don't think I've been over here before. Oh, neat! That's the batch from Rustboro Gem! You must be a trader. You should try using this item. Miracle Seed! Very nice. That would be great for Naruto. Alright, so let's hand that to Naruto there, I guess. Alright. Uh, there it is. Okay. Give Naruto with the Miracle Seed. That's very nice. How boosts uh, Grass-type moves. Alright, so... ah. Uh, I just want to get the item! Electrode. Level 5. Probably knows Explosion and Explosion. Alright, what item's this? Found an amulet coin. Very nice. We could do with that absolutely. Alright, so let's give that to Lainey. Yes, we could do with getting some more money because we are not doing so hot for, uh, for that coin right now, that bread. All right, so let's head back. For some reason, I, f I and again, I haven't done this in a long, long time, but um, I really... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can... Oh, no, we already cut that. Um, I feel like we have to go back for some reason. And I know that sounds really dumb, but I feel like we have to go back and, like, talk to the president or something again. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. Let's head back and just check just to make sure. Oh, so I do need to go to Slateport. Okay, because I need to deliver the dev... Um... Oh, we got the experience share. Okay, so it was good that we came back then. Okay, nice. Uh, Pokemon holding that EXP share will be given some of the experience points from battle. There we go. It w I would say experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. Nice. Okay, so we got the experience share. That's awesome. So there was a purpose to coming back here. I knew that there was some value to doing that. So that works for me. Let's go ahead and head out of here. Let's go all the way back. Um, and let's go to Slateport. So we're making our way to our next town now. It's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, this should be an easy uh, jump back. Okay, yeah, we got all those ledges to jump through, so we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Briny. Let's go to Slateport. I want to go to Slateport. Ah, no. Ahoy, uh, I've already read this like 400 times. Yes. Let's go, Pico. Another boat ride for free. We'll take it. I'm not complaining. Man, there's a lot of water in this game. We are going to have so many battles to or trainers to face. Slateport. Slateport, is it? Anchors away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. <laughs> All right. Last time we used Mr. Briny in this episode because we are heading on to Slateport. So that's right. I forgot the Devon Goods need to go to, um, I can't remember his name, but they need to go to that guy. Ahoy, we've made land in Slateport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern. There we go. Yep. And deliver the goods. Um, yeah, we'll stick with Laney. Let's do it. Time to battle some Pokemon trainers. I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but Slateport's the best. Thanks, Broseph. Ace Trainer Robin would like to battle. Sent out Sceptile. Wow, that's pretty cool. Again, another one of our Pokemon from our old series. Wing Attack with Laney. This should be a one-hit KO. Yes, it is. Super effective. Sceptile's defeated. Level 15. Decent level. 667 experience for Laney. Grows to level 19. Is trying to learn double team. I gotta be honest, I wouldn't mind having that on the team. Um, let's get rid of Growl. Let's do it. One, two, and poof. 
Forgot Growl Learn Double Team. That's a really good experience. Almost level 20, too. You're the best! I try. Um, Alright, so Laney's level 19, so let's try to keep the team at the same level. Um, let's go ahead and give Carol the amulet coin now. I want to spread the love. I want everyone to get some battles in, so... Our sand castle taking a long time to make! You can have this! Soft sand. Now, is that the same soft sand we already got where it, like, doesn't sell for good money, but I thought it did? Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Let's go. Let's battle, girl in a tube thing. Cool Trainer Mike would like to battle. Send out Entei. Oh my goodness. Level 14. I'm going to try and take this thing out. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, it did six damage. Carol used bubble. Come on. Super effective. Come on. Do some good damage, please. Oh, that actually is not bad. I'll take that. All right, come on. Come on, Carol. You got this. Let's go. You can beat this Entei. This is such a mis uh, mismatch. <laughs> All right, one more bubble. One more bubble. Can we make this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we're good. Carol flinched, but he's going to use Ember. It's going to do six damage. Yep. We're going to beat this Entei with Carol. Welcome to the team. This is officially Carol's welcome moment. Oh, it's almost defeated. All right, one more. Use Ember. It's going to do six damage. We'll go to 14. Okay, great. Carol used Bubble and defeated an Entei level 14. We'll take it. Nice. Good job, Carol. We're all really proud of you. So how much experience is this? 651. Carol is level 19. That is awesome. Quilava's coming out. Let's keep Carol right here. Let's do it. Quilava level 14. I am going to heal up, though, so let's go ahead and use a potion. And, uh, yeah, if we can beat a... If we can beat a an Entei, we can absolutely beat a Quilava. There is no doubt in my mind we can do that. Oh, almost half. Nice job, Carol. And the speed fell. Very nice. All right, another bubble should get it down to like two HP, like super low. Unless we get a crit. Oh no. Okay, never mind. That didn't do as much as I thought. Leer, come on, Carol. One more bubble. You got the speed advantage. And boom, Carol took out this guy's whole or this girl's whole team. Quilava's defeated. How much experience will we get from a stage one? 426. That's actually, that's not as bad as I thought. Mommy! This guy's mean! Alright, let's talk to this guy. The water around these parts is clean, but I get my zigzagging to pick up letter from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it's all it all comes back to haunt us eventually. Wow, messages in the Pokemon game. Yeah, that's... He ain't wrong. Uh, all right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a new route. We can get an encounter. All right, so before we get an encounter, let's continue to take out these trainers. I'm going to use Naruto. And again, I really need some money, so we're actually going to give everyone that starts the amulet coin. So let's go ahead and give Naruto that. All right. Let's go into battle with her. I'm thirsty. I could do it for a soda pop at the seashore house. All right, here we go. Come on, Naruto. Let's beat this little boy in a tube. Cool trainer, Pansy. Is that not Hypno? That's interesting. All right. Razor Leaf. Let's see how much this does. I know it's not super effective, but... Oh, come on. Uh... All right, we're not doing this. We're going to go to Sabrina. We're going to Sabrina so his psychic moves can't hit us. Oh, he's not using a psychic move. That's interesting. Well, that's fine. We'll use Pursuit and knock this thing out. Super effective. Oh, never mind. Hmm, I thought we would have knocked it out. Yes, he missed. Thank goodness. I am sick of being hypnotized. Sick of it. I'm sick of it, I tell you. Sick of it. All right, Hypno's defeated. Hypno's done. 264 experience for Naruto and Sabrina. Cool Trainer Pansy is defeated. Groan. All right, so... Hmm, all right. Well, I guess we're going to Kurenai now. All right, Kurenai, what are you going to do for us? Herb, battle with me? F 
flexing on us. Ace Trainer Jimmy would like to battle. Send out Steelix. Yikes. Kirina is not exactly the person. To oh, you know what? Let's use Hidden Power. Is this fire? No, it's not fire. I was hoping it was. That would have been perfect. But it's not. Let's use Confusion. Man, that would have been sick. I got to try and figure out what it is. So it's not fire. Hmm. I'll have to try it on different Pokemon and find out what its, uh... What its, uh, power is. Steelix is using Tackle and Bind in, uh, in a combo. Pretty powerful stuff. I mean, I don't know how I'll defeat him, but... Oh, nice. He's confused. Perfect. Good timing. Steelix is confused. Come on, hit yourself. You know you don't want to hit me. Ah, uh, okay. You're just gonna screech. You're in such agonizing pain from the confusion that you're screeching out loud. And we were uh, freed from the bind, so... Confusion will take this out. Steelix is defeated, and we should get to level 19 for Kur and I. 504 experience. Awesome. Level 19. Very nice. Next is Kakuna. Um... Yeah, we'll go into Laney. Why not? Let's go ahead with a wing attack here. Take out this Kakuna. Laney gets 181 experience, and we got Cascoon. We'll stay in and get Laney to level 20. Why not? All right, wing attack. Come on, Laney. Take out this Cascoon. I know it's a tough opponent. And it's a one-hit KO. We will absolutely take that. All right, so that's 184 experience. Get the lady to level 20. Yes. Ace Trainer Jimmy's defeated. Ugh. Ooh. Urgh. 700, 768 money. Very nice. Um. All right, so who do we... So where are we at? All right, I'm actually going to switch Naruto back in. I'm just going to get... I'm just going to have to deal with a couple hits that our opponent gives us. Because... Um, actually, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Don't I have a uh, berry for this? Yep. I have five Chesto berries. Yep. Could have used that a while ago. All right, well, that works. Yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. <laughs> That's awesome. So we beat those two trainers. We beat the guy down there. We beat her. I think we've beaten all the trainers on the beach. Uh, whoops, I got an itchy back. All right. Didn't need to know that. Um, oh, can we walk? Nope, we can't. All right, so we can actually get two encounters. Uh, we can fish, so let's go ahead and do that now. How many? Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit start. No, I'm letting it get away because I want to make sure I have Pokeballs. Um, what do I have? Three Premier Balls and 17 Pokeballs. Mm, I think we should be good. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. I think we're good. Yep. Let's go ahead and get a Pokemon. Come on, something good. Let's add to the team. Not even a nibble. Oh, boy. Oh, that was weird. Not even a nibble. Come on. Something good. Ooh, we got a bite. What is it? Oh, we got a what? Oh, wow. I didn't hit A quick enough. Wow. Pokemon's on the hook. Here we go. What is it? Ah, uh, an Electrode. That is so not what I want. Okay, um, I'm going to use Poison Powder and just poison it so I don't want to kill it with a tackle. I mean, it'll probably use a, a, a Self-Destruct. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Yeah, in a few turns, that'll the poison will get him down to, like, half health, so we, we're good. Hurt by Poison. Reflect just to cover ourselves. Oh, it failed. That's right. Yep. Electrode missed? Wow. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and catch this Electrode. A little disappointing. I was hoping to get something better than that, but that's all right. One, two, three. Oh, wow. He got out. That's surprising. Okay. Excuse Tackle on Naruto. Hurt by Poison. So we'll put him in the yellow. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. Never mind. I'm wrong again. Come on. Let's catch this Electrode and move on. One. No. Oh my gosh. I don't want to waste Pokeballs on this Pokemon. I mean, I'm going to... Oh, wow. I'm going to catch it, but... Come on. 
Come on, you're poisoned. You're weak. One. No, come on. Electrode, what are you doing here? Now I gotta heal myself because you're using Sonic Boom, which is 20 every time. Miss, stop hitting me with Sonic Boom. Oh my goodness. We may end up, he may just die. We may not be able to catch him just because he's not staying in the ball and he's gonna die from the poison. One, two, three. Guess he doesn't wanna be on our team. I, I don't know what to tell you. We got one more shot because he's gonna, the poison's gonna get him down to uh, like basically no health. This is it. We'll try. It's all I can do is try. If I can't catch him, it is what it is. One, two, three. We got him. All right, cool. All right, well, we got that Pokemon. I guess that's cool. Um, Electrode. One of Electrode's characteristics is its attraction to electricity. It is a problematical... It is a prob... Problematical... Okay, the way it looked on there was weird. It is a problematical Pokemon that has... That has just been generated weird okay um so i call it electrode boom we're not going to use electrode on our team um but the first thing i think of when i think of electrode is explosion um oh what's this oh we can battle oh i didn't even think about that boring battles aren't worth the effort fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and pokemon Oh, that's cool. I didn't know we even battled the trainers in here. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Champion Pansy would like to battle. Send out Wooper. And Naruto's out first, so that actually works out wonderful for us. Razor Leaf, let's go ahead and take out this Wooper. It's four times weak to grass type moves, so. Yep, yeah, one hit KO. Wooper's out of here, 156 experience, and we defeated Champion Pansy. That's hot. 2,240 money. Wow. I'm the owner of the Seahorse House, but you can call me Mr. C. What I love all above all is to see hot Pokemon battles. Let me see that your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward your efforts. All right, well, it's kind of a long episode, but eh, why not make it even longer? If you're looking for a battle on the high seas, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Matey. All right, let's see this guy. He's flexing again. Ace trainer Tia with three po a Snorlax. Look at that sprite. Ooh, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and use a Razor Leaf. Yeah, Snorlax is pretty bulky, so I'm probably going to need to use Poison Powder to take him out a little bit quicker. Um, because this will be an all-day battle. Oh, he prevents... Oh, that's right. Wow, that was dumb on my part. All right, that's fine. We'll just go back to Razor Leaf. Wow, I completely forgot about that. Oh, and we got a crit, so never mind. That, uh, all right, that worked out. Naruto 363 experience gets him to level 21. That's awesome. Tia's about to send out Combuskin. All right, sounds like it's time for some Carol action. Let's see if we can get her to level 20. I think she's almost. Oh no, she's not almost there. Almost halfway, I guess. Level 11 Combuskin. Or should we say Hawkeye? All right, it's gonna be a two-hit KO. Combuskin's gonna use Scratch. Basically doesn't do any damage to Carol, or not that much. And Combuskin's defeated. Nice. 334 experience. That's pretty good. Swampert's coming out. Um, let's go back into Naruto. Four times weak to grass-type moves. I'm absolutely going into Naruto. Let's go ahead with a Razor Leaf here. This should take it out as a one-hit KO. And Swampert's defeated. Very nice. Good job, Naruto. Knocking out uh, people one one razor leaf at a time. Ace Tia. That was a hot battle. I can accept that loss, matey. 704 money. Nice. I think we just got one more battle, and then we get a prize. I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. <laughs> Try not to. Wow, this is almost a 50-minute episode. Hopefully, you're all enjoying. Cool Trainer Rachel sends out Sneasel. Okay. Uh, let's go with the Razor Leaf. It's going to use Taunt. Okay. Fell for the Taunt. Uh-oh. Razor Leaf against the level 12 Sneasel. All right. It's not a one-hit KO like I thought, but that's all right. 
I thought based on our diff level uh, difference that it would kill it in one hit, but that's fine. And Sneasel got hit by a critical hit. Wow. Very nice. And Rachel's got Sudowoodo. Nice. So we'll go ahead and bring out Carol. It is the Naruto and Carol show today. I'm telling you, it is, uh, it is the two of them doing work. So let's go ahead and use a bubble here. Ooh, very nice. Good job, Carol. I'm going to have to look up what level Carol evolves. I don't remember when Carol evolves, or Horsey evolves into uh, Cedra. I know that based on the way I set up this game, uh, Cedra will evolve into a Kingdra at level 40, or sometime around level 40. Um, but I don't know about Cedra. Cool Trainer Rachel. I lost, but I won't cry! <laughs> cool, so we beat all the trainers. Let's go talk to this guy. You're scorching hot! Those battles blazed! I'm more than just satisfied. As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop. Wow, that's actually a great gift. Thank you, sir. Alright, cool. So, oh, you know what? We're not done yet. Um, I don't want to get into a cutscene or anything. Can I go to the Mart without a cutscene? Okay, yeah, I can. So let's go to the Mart. Let's get some Pokeballs. Let's make this episode a little bit longer. I know I shouldn't do this, but... Ooh, we get some great balls. Uh, hmm. We've got a lot of money, so let's go ahead and buy 10 Pokeballs, which will give us a Premier Ball. And let's go ahead and buy 5 Great Balls. Alright, so let's go catch a Pokemon at Slateport. Because we can fish right by where Slateport is. So let's get one more encounter before we end this episode. I'm having way too much fun with this. So let's go ahead and get one more encounter. Because technically we're in Slateport. That's 109. So we should be able to fish right here and get a po an encounter. So let's go with Sabrina. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get another encounter. Come on, let's get something good to end this episode. Oh, a bite. Pokemon's on the hook. What is it going to be? Oh, tell me we already caught Spinarak. Okay, we did. It's dupes. All right, so we've already got that. We can re-encounter. Thank goodness. All right, come on. Let's get something good. Let's get a legendary. I'd love a Moltres or an Articuno on the team or something like that. Come on, something good, something good, something good, something good, something good. Ooh, a Houndor. I absolutely will be adding that to the team. That is great. Um, So I don't want to kill it. I guess my question is, should we just throw a Pokeball and see if it catches it? It's a level 10 Houndor. Come on, Houndor, join the team. You know you want to. One. Nah, okay, we're going to have to hit it a little bit. Okay. So, I don't think a tackle from a Sabrina would kill a Houndor, right? It's just a tackle. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping we would get to. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and use a Pokeball now. Let's catch this Houndor. Let's end this episode on a good note. Um... Very nice. This is actually really cool. One, two. No, come on, Houndor. Get in the ball. You know you want to. I don't want to waste a Great Ball. Um, that'll be like in case of emergency. But I think we should be able to catch it with a Pokeball. I feel like we can get it. Come on. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Come on, Houndor. You know you want to be on the team. Yes, we got Houndor. Nice. Awesome. We got a new Pokemon to add to the team. Houndor, the dark Pokemon. Houndor hunts as a coordinated pack. They communicate with each other using a variety of cries to corner their prey. This Pokemon's remarkable teamwork is unparalleled. Awesome. Now, the nickname for Houndor. So, it evolves into Houndoom, which is like a giant dog kind of Pokemon or a hound or whatever. Um... Oh, man, I have a name that came to mind, but I almost want to... Hold on, I need a second to think of what What do I name this thing? Okay, I'm going to go with the name I thought of immediately. I thought of Ralph. Ralph the Houndor. 
That's awesome. Is Oh, he went to the PC, didn't he? Yeah, okay. Let's go check out Ralph real quick, and then we're going to end this almost hour-long episode. Um, but this is going to go up on a Friday, and I feel like that's a good way to end a week by watching this episode and having it be a longer episode. I feel like that's cool. So let's go check out the new Pokemon on the team. Uh, so let's move Pokemon around. So let's go ahead and check out Ralph. He's Dark Fire. Now, one quick thing I do want to note. I know what people are probably going to think. They're probably thinking, well, Ralph is a dark type. Yes, his secondary typing is fire, but he's primary dark. You already have a primary dark with Sabrina. That's true, but the way I think about it is this. Um, having a fire type on the team that's primary dark means that he's not going to get hit by psychic moves. means that he's going to um, he's gonna learn moves like Bite. Um, he's going to have fire moves, so he's going to have dual variety of, of moves to attack opponent Pokemon. Um, and plus, it really can't hurt to have multiple Pokemon on the team not get hit by psychic moves. As we start uh, facing harder Pokemon, things like Alakazam, Gengars, all kinds of different psychic moves, Gardevoir, Gallade... I'd rather have two Pokemon on the team that don't get hit by any of their psychic moves. So I feel like to me it makes sense. Um, so I really want to add him to the team. He's got early bird, which is cool. Awakens quickly from sleep. Quirky nature. Okay. Um, it's special attack. It's its uh, strongest feature. And it's got leer, ember, and howl. Um, so let's see if we move that around a little bit. Okay, cool. So that's awesome. Um, I'm actually going to move him. And we're going to get rid of... Sonic. We're going to put him in the PC for now. Uh, we'll probably use him for cut. And yeah, so we've got the squad. So I'm going to heal up here. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're going to end the episode off here. So we're almost at an hour. I'm so sorry this is a super long episode. But uh, between battling our second gym leader, between battling a ton of trainers, we got the experience share. We got a new Pokemon on our team. Um, and I think one last thing before we go, I'm probably not going to do any grinding off screen. Um, it's we our whole we have a full party of six, which is awesome. But on top of that, um, I don't really think we need to grind. He's already level ten. He'll probably get leveled up pretty quickly. Um, so I'm gonna stick with what we've got and just kind of switch train and keep him in there when needed. So anyway, thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate the support. If you've enjoyed the series so far, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, as I always mention. Don't forget, check me out on Twitter. Twitch. I'm always live streaming different games between uh, Madden, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon. I'm going to do Halo at some point. I'm going to do all kinds of games. So go check me out there as well. And until next time, I hope you continue to spread the positive vibes. I'm out. Peace.